Holding it down with the one and only PT Cruiser. This is Uncle Silk. What's up, PT? Yeah, yeah. What's going on? Ah, oh, man, everything lovely, man. You know what I'm saying? It's just a pleasure to, uh, you know what I'm saying, embrace the fact that we get a chance to give back to, to some of the youth, though. But uh, speaking to some of the troubled teenage youth, because I know they're going to be watching this, what would you say to them, the cats out there that's fighting and killing and robbing for the bling bling and trying to get the money out of here? Stop. <laughs> 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 Stop. It ain't even worth it, man. I'm talking about it ain't even worth it. All that stuff gonna come. You know what I mean? Stay down. All that stuff gonna come. They got us killing. They got us robbing. They got us doing all this stuff, man. It's all a trick. It's all a cycle. We can have whatever we want anyway. Just stay down with it. Believe in yourself. You get it. I yeah. had to do that. Yeah, but you know, I mean, you know, they see you, Troy, and they see you living the lifestyle. And in their mind, you know, they don't know you personally, but they automatically associate themselves with your, through your music and say, well, Troy this way, or he that way, or he gangster with it, and you know what I'm saying? I want to be like Troy, man. I want to be like Pastor Troy. Man, you know what I mean? If you're going to be like Pastor Troy, you're going to be careful. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> That's first and foremost, man. Right. You know, that music thing, man, it's just, it's really entertainment, man. You know what I mean? It's entertainment. I ain't talking about a lot of these, these stories of old. You feel me, stories of old, even, even just sitting down with OGs, you know what I mean, taking stuff on, just relaying it to the people. But they ain't all a brother kick, you know what I mean, they ain't all the only thing a nigga about, you know. The whole gangster rap scene, man, I was raised on gangster rap, you know what I mean, from Easy E to Ice Cube, NWA, I'm like, it's cool, but when nobody just getting killed, robbed, not that we really knew about, man, we was right. young boys. Absolutely. So now, now with that being my, my future endeavor, man, you know, what I really decided to do with it, you got to respect it, you know what I mean? Can't make no money in jail. But what about the struggle, though? Everybody telling me, don't do the right thing. Like, when I came up, they used to tell me to do the right thing, but I stayed in and out of penitentiary because I, I, I didn't do the right thing. I was, like, trouble prone. I thought the only way I could get it was to sell dope. I didn't make any sports because I chose not to continue. Pursue. Yeah, not to pursue it. I went to the streets. And, yeah. Like a lot of these young cats went to the street life. Yeah. And uh, I, wait, I, man, I waited up too, man. I'm talking about dog. We was out here with the same old thing. But I look at I look at the money and I look at the risk. Right. I'm like, man. Yeah. Hell no. <laughs> you gotta weigh that thing up, man. The pros and the cons of that whole thing, man. You know. Still down with brothers in the streets and everything, man. My homeboy see me run out here for a couple of days out of the weekend and go make key fair. Right, right. You feel me? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man, what you, I just went Thursday and Friday night, man. I just went and made me damn 10, 12 G's. Right. My boy, I'm like, man, do you know I got to sell 10 bricks to, to, to make that kind of guy? Man, that's right, man. man. Right. So you gotta weigh it up, man. You gotta weigh it up. You say it's worth it. But I'll tell you that it should be worth it, worth it. Right. Yeah. Right. Well, now okay, you take a cat 15 to 20, and they really don't in their mind don't see no other way out. You know, they don't they don't see no other way out. Well that sounds good, they all the advice that everybody have given to them. It all sounds good, but the reality is they see them cars riding, or they see you riding, they see you performing, and they ain't good at rapping. Yeah. I didn't say I'd be no rapper, I'm saying be the best, whatever you can do, man. Whatever you're gonna do, but do it. The money ain't coming. It ain't coming like as quick as they want it to come. It ain't, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't. It, ain't, it, ain't, it, ain't, it, ain't. it don't even come to me as quick as I want it to come. <laughs> That's just L I F E. Right, right, right. So I tell you when it's not gonna come. When it's that? When you have locked up, you can't right. get it to it at all. I know a fleet of young boys down with that ball, down with their books, down with everything, man. You know what I mean? It ain't the streets ain't consumed everybody. It's not consuming them hard heads that want to be on that side of the street. Right. Well, that that's that's a great assessment. As somebody said to me, you could take a hammer and lay it on the on on the. Uh, on the table right there, and one man to take that hammer and go murder somebody with it, 
bash their head in and another man will take the hammer and build a nice pretty mansion with it. For real. So it ain't is it the hammer fault? For real. It's not the, it's For not real. the hammer. For it's real. what you do, you what know, you like you said. It's what you choose to do. So I do appreciate the fact that you and I had the chance to go into the uh, youth youth detention centers, the prisons and Go speak to some of the troubled teenagers, and I appreciate you going there. Yes. How, did, how did that make you feel? I know it was, oh, nice. man, that was beautiful, man. Just going and talking to them little boys, then fall off in the joy and know some of the little boys, oh, you yeah. know what I mean? And know their families and stuff where they come from. Them little boys know, you know what I mean? They, they know a lot, all of them know better. Everybody in there. Yeah, well, you know, I, right from wrong. I guess the lifelong question everybody want to know how, how did you get the name Pastor Short? Yeah, man. Just, um, I was just peeping it, man. A lot of my ideas and stuff came to me while I was just sitting in church, hearing it from my father, but knowing that it's a real world to deal with when I'm not up under his supervision. You know what I mean? Right. So everything that I could take with Pastor Troy, from Pastor Troy, I took. <laughs> you know what I mean? Everything, everything I could take from this man, I took. I'm the street minister. I'm ministering to the streets now. That's the whole thing and about just kill, kill, kill. I love giving people encouragement. Right. Tell them, man, yeah, you can make it, you can do it. You know, it's real. You hanging with cats that's going in and out of prison, chances are you gonna go in and out of prison. If you hanging with cats that's doing it, chances are on your worst day you gonna do something. Yeah, you know, it's the same. You, you, you stand next to the trash can, you gonna start smelling like, and then you wonder why you smell like trash. You've been standing there through the trash can all day. I uh, see, that's, 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 that's past the intellect, man. Take it. Yeah, that's that's real That's real amazing, man. And uh, it's great to, to know that all of the uh, entertainers have some concern to giving back. And I mean, a big up to everybody from 50 Cent to uh, Michael Vick to everybody that's done got into movies and tried to give back and reach the youth. Something number seven, represent Vick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dirty birds, baby. Yeah, that's right. And, uh, well, you know, I mean, I guess this is concluded, but, you know, Pastor Troy, I mean, the hottest rapper out. And I'm Uncle Silk. This is my nephew. Y'all heard it in the bed, baby. Uncle Silk is in the house representing Major.